All right, guys, we are back. Uh, it's been about 20 minutes since the actual of uh, the Seth Faroth reveal trailer was dropped, and now I'm finally getting to actually officially react to it fully and kind of analyze it. And we're just gonna get right into it. We're gonna be going over all of the moves uh, they revealed and how viable I think he will be in the game. So let's get started. So the first move we see looks to be his forward tilt which you, it looks like you can angle it up, down, or obviously the neutral forward tilt. And it has a really, an actual large amount of range for it being a tilt attack. And it also, because as you can see, it hits a snake from a decent range away. I don't think it's a bad forward tilt at any point. Um, it sends pretty far. And then right after that, we see what looks to be his smash attack, which also seems to be a uh, able to be angled up or down similar to Byleth's smash where you can kind of it reaches far out but it probably doesn't have the tipper um next up we can see that he either it's his forward air but it appears that it also clings to walls which means that uh sephiroth is going to be a good character on stages with walls such as kalos which means he gets an extra recovery option which is always good in a character um it's just more viable of his moves he also has this little jump afterwards which means that he can get even more height on stages like kalos um next up we see that he has a counter or which is probably most likely going to be his down b um, similar to most other counters in the game, uh, he just blocks it with a shield and then he uses his light particle rays to kind of knock the opponent back. Um, it looks like a decent counter, uh, I don't know if there's going to be anything special about it. Uh, next up we see his up air and this looks really ridiculous, obviously he can't actually cut the stage in the game, uh, that was just a real, really well timed edit, but this up air seems to have some incredible range, like the range on this up, tell um, on this up air is ridiculous. Uh, it span it looks to be either the one of the definitely one of the biggest up airs in the game i think what's going to make or break the move is depending on how slow it is it's probably going to be slow because most moves that have large range are very slow so it is going to be all about the kill power can it kill if it can kill then it will probably be good if it can't kill then it will probably be bad um next up we see one of his taunts and then after this we see a very special move where he curses the opponent and you have you see these little three orbs that fly around the opponent at times um next up we'll go back into the orbs later next up we see his up smash which also has ridiculous range and so far what i see in this character is that this character is going to be a very very good character sim similar to byleth where they have a lot of range on their tilts and their smash attacks etc but they probably won't have the best speed so is, is this character would probably will function very similarly to byleth after this we get similar to back to the orbs again like i was talking about earlier and you can see when link shoots an arrow the uh orbs absorb the hit so it doesn't go through them and then they attack them so it's kind of like a counter for projectiles i think it could also be normal moves like arrows and such it's like if you curse your opponent and they hit the orbs at all with any type of move and they all collapse on them and that could either be really broken or if it's only on projectiles really good for projectile characters we see the stage and i'm actually pretty excited about the stage because the stage actually does look pretty neutral which means that there is a potential if it doesn't have too many hazards that it could be actually legalized which is something that i think would be really really cool uh, you can see when he's walking here just how long his sword is. Like he, This character is going to have ridiculous range. Um, next up we see what looks like his down air. It looks like it has a little splash effect. So it probably won't be just straight down. We don't know how um, if it has a spike at all or how strong it is. It doesn't look like it has a terrible amount of lag. We can also see that he has um, his rollback isn't very far. But he has this sort of like, I want to say it looks, it's similar to Arsene where when he has it um his smash attack gets a lot lot stronger um he looks like he has this crazy side b where he just slashes the opponent a lot um and then obviously we see his smash attack after that so it looks like he will obviously like all the other dlc characters kind of have a comeback mechanic where he unlocks this really really strong uh mode and that's pretty much all we get from the actual trailer for his moves obviously after that we see the final smash and it actually looks like cloud will have a special final smash when he uses it on sephiroth as you can see because the final smash does change from the original game so after going over this trailer uh my 
initial assessment of this character is that he is going to be similar to Byleth. I think he will be a little better than Byleth, depending on what his project if he has a projectile, um, because Byleth's projectile is pretty decent. But um, I think it's all going to depend, like I said, on how strong the up air is, um, how he will get this comeback mechanic. Like obviously they showed him taking a lot of damage, and then he got it. Similar to Arsene, if you take a lot of damage, you will eventually get Arsene. Um, obviously, which moves will be powered up because when Arsene back air becomes when back air which is already a really good move on Joker, becomes our sin back air, it becomes one of the best moves in the game. So depending on all of these factors, obviously you can't make a great assessment now, but I think this character will be either high mid tier or high tier. I don't think this character will be bad just because of his insane range. But what do you guys think? Uh, leave what you guys think in the comments down below, and I will see you guys in the next video.